Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Living in the Red Dot. This is May from Singapore. Today I have a couple of perfumes for you from the house of Lancôme. Um, I have um, Lancôme Tresor La Nuit EDP or Eau de Parfum and Lancôme La Nuit Tresor à la Folie and that is also an Eau de Parfum. Um, so if you're interested in these two perfumes, please stay tuned. Okay, so these two perfumes that I have for you are flankers of the original Lancôme Tresor um, and that actually has a lot of flankers on its own. Um, it's got the Tresor in Love, Tresor Midnight Rose, etc, etc. Um, then, um, then they have this one, the um, Lancôme Tresor La Nuit Eau de Parfum and this flanker has flankers of its own but this is the first one that was released back in 2015 um, so it's younger um, three years younger than the famous um, Lancôme La Vie à Belle which is uh, the bestseller um, I think for the longest time um, this perfume kind of stood in the shadow of La Vie Belle, but it's a beautiful, beautiful perfume on its own. I mean, look at that. It's like gorgeous. See? So this is a tester bottle and um, it says tester on it. So tester bottles would have the name actually right there. Uh, La Nuit Tresor and then it will have this extra um, description um, imprinted on it Le de Parfum La Rose Aphrodisiac so the Aphrodisiac Rose um, right there I don't know if you can see it um, so this perfume um, is also unfortunately heavily fake um, and I was worried when I bought this one um, because um, I've seen it in the stores here in Tangs I've seen it early last year but when I ask about it um, later this year uh, the lady at the counter actually told me that it's being discontinued now I haven't seen anywhere else um, that it has been discontinued or there's any news of being discontinued um, or maybe it is a language barrier when I was um, talking to to um, to the lady at the counter um, maybe she just meant that they are phasing it out for the moment because it's being reformulated because they do do that um, so I got this one online as a tester bottle um, some ways you can find out whether what you have is or what you're trying to buy is real or not um, well first is the quality of the bottle I mean it's just gorgeous look at this the detail to it like the cuts it, it's a very smooth and that pointed bottom um, in this like diamond prism the the batch code is right here right there and it's on a sticker it's not a uh, laser printed onto the bottle um, so if it's laser printed I think that would be a fake as far as I know uh, Lancôme Tresor La Nuit uses uh, stickers to put the batch code um, on their bottles um, another telltale sign is the quality of the rose See, this one is, is, is quite nice. I mean, there's no loose threads or ragged edges on that, on that rose right there. It's quite pretty. Then, the cap. The cap is strong. I'll put it here, just in case. But, you know, you can carry it at the cap and it doesn't bite the cap and it doesn't, like, fall off. It, it's actually quite, quite firm and you can twirl it like this 
and it stays put, um, but it's pretty smooth when you're twirling it. So those are some ways you can check uh, for the authenticity of your bottle. Also, just like La Via Belle, um, here, right here on the atomizer, it's printed La Nuit Tresol. I will uh, post a picture on the side if this is not that clear. Now, prior to 2017, or well, maybe prior to 2018, this one would not say La Nuit Tresor. It would actually say Lancome in um, all caps, Lancome. I will post a picture in that as well so you know what it looks like. So if it says Lancome and it's a bottle that is um, 2015, 2016, maybe early 2017, um, it, 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 because just because it doesn't say La Nuit doesn't mean it's fake. So those are some of the telltale signs of whether the bottle is a fake or not. Um, so before I go about describing the scent of this one, I'm not sure if you guys know that this bottle is actually a reform reformulation. So this bottle is a 2000 and 2019 bottle when I checked it on uh, checkfresh.com. So this is manufactured in 2019. Uh, I have, fortunately, I have a smaller bottle here, right here the mini perfume of um, La Nuit Tresor EDP and this one when I check on Check Fresh the batch code tells me that this is a 2016 bottle so it was produced in uh, this perfume was released in 2015 so this is the old formulation I believe the new port formulation actually only started in 2019. When I look at um, people's reviews on Fragrantica, you see quite a, a change between 2018 2019 on how people describe the notes of the perfume that they had bought, um, the Lanui perfume that they had bought. So I found that I found that quite interesting because it confused me for a while. The notes in Fragrantica that you'll find are actually describing the original formulation. Um, but for sure there is a new formulation starting 2019 because if you look at old YouTube videos there are there are those home shopping channel ads where they have an actual Lancome agent come in and talk about the, the notes of the newly formulated perfume. So, um, having said that, this is a real bottle and for this small bottles, if you can find it or are or, or gonna buy one, um, the batch code on this is not on the sticker. It's actually laser imprinted. Uh, and I will post a picture um, somewhere up here to show you what it looks like. So the mini bottles would have the batch codes laser printed right here on top of this like sticker label. Um, but the big bottles will have the batch code actually printed on the, on the sticker right there. So let's talk about the original formulation. So this one has a lot a lot 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 of notes compared to the new formulation and I found it more complex than the new one and it's a little bit more it has a little bit more development you know from from the notes pyramid from the top mode top note to the hard notes to the um, to the to the bottom notes so on the top um, I can actually smell the fruitiness, light fruitiness, sweet light fruitiness um, on the top note from the pear, which is a very sweet, juicy pear. But I would also pick up the citrus from the tangerine and the bergamot. And then on the heart notes, you got like vanilla orchid, which I'm not sure what it is, but I mean, it's probably like vanilla, just a fancy name for um, an orchid. Um, strawberries in the heart notes and 
I'm surprised it actually lingers that strawberry note and then you've got black rose and passion fruit those are the other two fruits um, in the heart notes um, for the base notes um, since there's so much I will read it out to you it's got praline caramel um, lychee uh, patchouli vanilla incense coffee licorice and coumarin and papyrus so as you can see, the bottom notes are quite heavy um, on the sweet stuff. And this is a sweet perfume. It's a very, very sweet. If you don't like gourmand or sweet perfumes, stay away from this. This is very much along the lines of La Vie Abelle. Um, but this is more of a darker, sensual uh, perfume compared to La Vie Abelle, which is more of a kind of like everyday, um, everyday type of perfume like daytime it could be like for for daytime um, uh, fancy events whereas this is really more suited for for nighttime events it, it's quite sensuous and and sexy so I really really like the scent and I like the way it develops um, on the skin from that citru citrusy fruity top notes to that kind of like the strawberry mid notes with a rose in it and then you've got like this heavy heavy um uh bottom notes full of like praline caramel coffee um unfortunately i'm not a coffee drinker so i i, I can't really smell the coffee in here um people um in fragrantica have mentioned that they smell the coffee in it so um, I'll, um, maybe it just doesn't develop well on my skin or my nose is not too familiar with it because I don't really drink coffee. Oh, it's got licorice. I don't know if I mentioned that. So yeah, all that yummy stuff in this perfume. Um, I don't think it stays on for something so heavy. I don't think it stays on my skin as long as I want to or it could be the weather here. Um, it's just not for hot, humid weathers. Um, probably better for colder weathers. Uh, it does project and there is sillage, but um, not as much as I would expect it to. And maybe it has a lasting power of maybe like five, six hours, which is not bad, but you know, I just expected something longer for, for something that has all this kind of like heavy, yummy notes in it. So, this is the 2015 original formulation and then 2019 this one they have the latest formulation and the top notes are raspberry um, lychee or lychee if you use british english um, so it's a fruit that i'm quite familiar with but i always got confused with the pronunciation and so I was kind of researching about it. I, I love to research. So I found out that um, lychee is actually a Chinese fruit. It's, um, it's grown in China, in the southern part of China, Guangdong province and Putian. And lychee or lychee is actually kind of like adopted from the Chinese Mandarin name of this fruit, which is Li Zhi, and I thought that was quite quite interesting. I, I never knew that you know the lychee fruit was from China. I know I know most Asians are familiar with it. I don't know if uh, Western people are familiar with the, the fruit that much, but um, because I know we have something like this like this lychee fruit in the Philippines as well, but it's more of a I think it's a wild uh, variety of the fruit, and it does smell good. Um, and um, I like eating it, but uh, I wasn't too familiar about how it would smell like in perfumes. So this one is very heavy on the lychee. I was trying to find out what the fruity smell is, so um, so I did after I checked the after I checked on Wiki and Fragrantica. So so yeah, so raspberry lychee are the top notes, and they are. Prominent the raspberry not so much, um, but I'll talk about that later. So that's a top note and The lychee yes very much 
um, and in its uh, heart notes you've got the damask rose and incense so damask rose is one of I think it's my favorite rose um, the first time I've noticed it really is in the Miss Dior or the Toilette 2013 version um, because I couldn't find anything in there that would give me anything sweet. There was no notes that would give me anything sweet. Um, even the fruit doesn't seem that sweet to me and yet the perfume was sweet. So I think that the mask rose does have, it, it has a, a quality to it uh, that um, can turn a perfume or can make a fragrance smell quite sweet. And from then on I, I smell this, I smell it in perfumes um, quite a lot. Um, not too familiar with the May Rose. They use they use all these roses, but um, I can't quite distinguish them. But I think I'm starting to figure out what the Damask Rose um, smell like and what it imparts um, on the perfume. Um, and another another thing interesting about this, which makes it quite mysterious and sexy and sensual, is the incense. It it leaves a bit of a smokiness to it which I like, um, um, reminds me a bit of that smokiness that I smell in La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier, which I reviewed um, as well. So, so yeah, it has quite strong incense in it. So it's, it's sweet, smoky type of scent. And for the base notes, um, they've cut it quite a lot. What you're left with is the praline, patchouli, vanilla orchid, and papyrus. Um, so this, unlike the original uh, formulation, doesn't have much of a development. Um, yes, it starts a fruity uh, with the lychee, but very quickly it just changes into this very, very, very syrupy, smoky, sweet, um, perfume. Um, it's quite different. It's very different from, from the original. I like them both, but I think it really depends on where you're gonna wear it um, or, or just what you're feeling. If you feel like something heavy, then um, I think this one is much heavier scent compared to, to the original, which is lighter. And I also think this lasts longer, perhaps maybe like eight hours or more. Um, but it's it, it's beautiful scent, beautiful bottle. Um, so I don't know whether it's being discontinued. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. I think they were probably, at least in Singapore, I think they were just trying to get rid of the old stocks, which are still the old formulation, and they will probably have a shipment of the new formulation soon. So that's that for the EDP. Next, we will go to the A La Folie. So this one doesn't have a rose. Um, it has this kind of like triple folded like ribbon right here. Um, I like the color in this one. It's like a kind of like blood ruby. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So these perfumes, obviously, you can't just put them on your dresser. You kind of have to put it like sideways. But yeah, nevertheless, it's so beautiful. So this one is what they call the fiery rose. The other one is the aphrodisiac rose. This is the fiery rose, and it's much lighter than the the original La Nuit. Um, EDP. It for top notes. I'll just read it out to you. It has red currant, pear, pink pepper, and bergamot. Uh, I don't smell any of that bergamot in there. But what the red currant and the pear give me, and maybe the pink pepper as well, um, is this kind of fruity, full-bodied red wine. Um, really yummy or maybe mold wine with some kind of like fruits fruits in it and uh, it tastes delicious and then 
and then as it kind of dries down it gets a bit spicy I'm, I'm guessing that might be the pink pepper like kicking kicking in a little bit more and in the heart notes you've got that the mask rose again which is sweet so this perfume is still sweet and it's got violets which are sweet as well but it has peony and jasmine to be honest I don't smell much of the peony or jasmine but I do know peony is a quite light airy floral so that probably gives this the quality of being lighter than um, this EDP right here and on the base notes it's got something called um, bourbon vanilla tonka bean benzoin what else patchouli umbroxan nutmeg and woody notes umbroxan sorry um, yeah so it has no praline it has no caramel uh, it still has patchouli um, and instead of vanilla they have something called bourbon vanilla so I had to research what that means um, well I kind of knew this there are different types of vanilla you know depending on where you grow them they would taste or smell differently of course but um, more famous one I guess that they have like kind of like a Tahitian vanilla Mexican vanilla um, so bourbon vanilla smells kind of like tobacco because this doesn't have incense um, on the list but I distinctly smell something kind of smoky tobacco-ish type and from my research I found out that that's the bourbon vanilla it smells really good um, so seeing that this is a lighter version is quite friendlier more or more friendly to wear it um, for offices or just for everyday um, everyday events or or just everyday running around um, but any of this too you know when you spray it you just feel quite warm and happy this one not quite as as, as, as warm as this um, but it still has warmth in it nevertheless and well, I don't think you should spray, you know, more than three sprays for the office. Maybe a couple of sprays will do. But it it it's it smells really really good. Um, but it doesn't stay in the skin as long, and it doesn't project um, as well either, uh, which is good. It stays kind of closer to you, which makes it less offensive. And I can see why because it doesn't have a lot of that heavy heavy base notes um, of uh, of like uh, praline and caramel and such um, but it still has that sweet sweet sweetness to it so this these are the only two I have from the Lanui line um, it has a couple of much more than a couple of other flankers they have caress which I remember seeing that has been discontinued and then they have like Lanui Nude, Lanui Diamante. Um, I'm not really trying to go after those just looking at the notes. I'm not sure if they will be my type. If I come across them I'll smell it but um, I'm quite happy with this too. Uh, I mean honestly with this too and the La Vie Bells that I have just like kind of oozing sweetness everywhere. Um, I love it. So if you like this review, um, please press like and subscribe and um, I'll go dig through my collection and see what else I can review for you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!